Good morning one and all. Today we are going to look at a new patch library that is coming out for Omnisphere called Majesty from the lovely folks at Stingray Audio. This one is a cinematic guitar presets uh, from Omnisphere. Uh, it's based on a Ernie Ball Majesty so they created a sound pack with it and there's 120 cinematic guitar sounds based upon not just the Majesty, but also an Ibanez Gem 7V, the king and queen of electric guitars, housed in the brilliance of Omnisphere. Sample sessions featured a vintage Marshall JCM 2000 amp, so yeah, nice amp to go through. Uh, I'm not a guitarist, but even I know that Marshall amps are probably one of the best in the, uh, in the world for amplifiers. Um, so these sounds are absolutely perfect for cinematic scores, crime, drama, and anywhere your imagination takes you, be it a pulse, pad playable or a noisy guitar delight in the power of the electric six string so we have 120 patches to go through with 84 sound sources this will also come in a unify enhanced version so that's the intro out of the way that's all the guff and fluff uh what does it sound like well so i'm going to say as usual buckle up sit back make yourself a coffee pause the video well pause the video make yourself a coffee come back and then relax into the wonderful world of Majesty. And we'll start our tour through these 120 patches through the ARP and BAPM section. So, as always, I always say this, make sure you read the instructions on the main tab here, where it says mod wheel controls, ARP note length, after touch adds a bit crushing, because always always there'll be some kind of nugget in there to tell you what these modulations do uh, more than that after but anyway here this is what it sounds like <laughs> sell high mod wheel it's not making it big sound really big mod wheel closed Pucky. open a bit wider <laughs> an alien to do that patch so here we go custom motors arp with cool reverse interference brought up with the metal wheel so i don't have my glasses on so that's why i stumbled through that one then so there's your reverse effects coming in Fussy Pulsar 2. Now, if you ever 
everyone to know what is actually... I'll just pause here a minute, because if you ever want to know what your modulations are actually doing here, all you need to do is go into one of the patch layers here, and where it says modulation, that little mag a magnifying glass next to it with the plus sign in, click it, and you get to know exactly what is happening here. So you've got a breath controller controlling the delay, a randoms controlling cutoff on both layers. Anything that's in grey means it's in a different layer. So if I swap over to B, you see random 2 comes in, but if I swap back to A, random 2 goes grey and random 3 lights up. So anything lit up is for that layer. Anything in grey or dulled, um, depending on what your screen looks like, is from another layer and you just have to basically click through to see. Thankfully there's only two layers on this so we can easily switch between the two. So we've got an LFO one, change the sample start, pitch bender, alters the foxy fuzz tone on the this bit here, and the effects, uh, the after touch changes are analog vibrato, so after touch, here we go. Now not all keyboards will have after touch, but if yours does have after touch, all you do is, once you get to what you think is the actual bed of the key, just push down a little bit harder, and you have to touch kicks in. Uh, and we put pitch bender, so the pitch bender does a fuzzy sustain. And if you ever want to know where you are on the parameter for the um, modulation, is you see this little this little white thing comes up. That's where you are on the modulation stage for the LFO. How much you're actually putting into the sample to start or the pitch bender or anything. So if I do the pitch bender again, you see you see that little white line there. There you go. So that's how much mellow grit and sustain you're putting in. So there we go. Anyway, back to the patches. Just a thought. I just digress there so you can look for yourself exactly what's changing. So here we go, back to the arpeggiators. <laughs> of these actually have the um, what the modulations are on and what the model wheel does which a bit unnerving but allows you to experiment more in the pot <laughs> intelligence on this one by reading absolutely every single description because I'm sure you'll be able to read what's on there um, so where we are pedal more pedal yeah, I really do like these arpeggiators great for sort of like what I'm doing actually here is holding note down in the left hand like this two notes octave apart and then just playing along with um, diatonic notes so in other words notes from that actual scale so at the moment I'm in E flat so you can sort of like use it like a droney type thing on the left hand and just Play with the tune on top, it's really good design. Thank you. 
probably could actually use them as normal sounds if you turn the arpeggiator off. <laughs> So with arpeggiated sounds, you sort of get two patches in one here. You get the arpeggiated version, you get the straight version. It's always useful to have triplets in again. Playing with the mod uh, forward because that mess this is messes up this though. Without the mod wheel we can. And again if we took the arpeggiator off we would get a simple sound. Excuse me that. Water locked. Well, this is nice, let's see. Mod Bill brings out the pings. Great for suspensions there, that's wonderful. Uh, what have I? And then who shot the deputy? Haha, <laughs> there's a play on who shot the sheriff, I guess. That's all the ARPs and BPMs. Now, I say this in literally every video, but for those who've never actually watched one of these types of videos before, I always talk about the mod wheel, and that is if your controller keyboard allows it, get a foot pedal to control your mod wheel. Uh, I've got one that does a nice gentle rock with it, so you push forward with your foot, so it leaves both hands free to actually express and play the keyboard. You know, so have a look at that. Uh, if, if your keyboard control actually allows you to sort of add, add pedals or some form of adding after touch, um, always helpful. So anyway, distortion. Here we go. We've got a few distortions here. Damn, I did it again. So 
mod wheel. Good stuff. Not in the description there, but if you again go into um, the mod matrix zoom, if you just tune into this part of the video, I'll just go quickly go through how you get there. Go into the patch layer, click on the little magnifying glass next to modulation, and voila, your wheel actually does a hell of a lot. Actually, it does it alter the cutoff, the wave shape of depth, depth, uh, the common auxiliary send. So the common auxiliary send is this one here. Uh, if we go back again, uh, and it also alters the wave shape and mix and the harmonia level one. So the mod wheel does an awful lot. So here we go. <laughs> That sounds good. Obscene encounter. Again, the model wheel does something. No model wheel. That's a nice in the bottom end for Brahm. Take her breath away. That is definitely a take on um, Take My Breath Away. Um, for those who remember the original Top Gun movie and the original performers of that track, Take My Breath Away, is uh, Berlin. I think that's what that nod is to, like a good trip to Berlin. The end of the world. That's mid-range, but in the bottom it says smash it low. There low. to distortion control. See so if you've got a mod wheel linked to a pedal you can get that type of effect with this. Just rocking it backwards and forwards. So there we go. Uh, onto the keyboards. Quite a few of these. So ambient pluckage. I do like this one. Great for those wonderful ambient tracks. So, Beyond Beauty. There's a guitar. like how the mod wheel makes that a little, like I said, a little bit toasty. So here we go, hang drums.
See, these are really great for adding uh, those repetitive beds. Um, I think the greatest example for that was, is Love on a Real Train by Tangerine Dream. Sort of get a nice repeating pattern and then just have something over the top of it. Uh, so, for instance, uh, let's just come up with more. So you could have that going all the way through and then over the top you could have another instrument just playing a solo. Um, really great. The really good thing about these is they sound good over the whole keyboard. And this is why I'm uh, sort of ad-libbing pieces that just come to mind and uh, and they go up and down the keyboard so this is low end Play these keyboards all day, they're really, really nice. Again, Mod Wheel does quite a lot of work and head lifting. Now that funny effect there, I suspect, is the velocity hitting something to do with pitch, I would think, so let's have a look. Oh no, it must be built in because how interesting. Because I've got nothing else on and if I if you hit this hard you get that type of effect. So this must be some something built into the actual patch to make it do that. So prepare the guitar. going through these so get a feel of what they sound like. Up and down the keyboard. And we then go for Tales of the Unexpect of the Expected. And we th 
then just go on to the next one. So next up is the end is night. <laughs> Model wheel is adding delay. Really nice sound that. has that reverse effect on when you hold it down. Time flies. I feel like it's social. So the model wheel is adding the warp on. A little bit of distortion. Too many harmonics. So that sounds very quiet, but the mod wheel brings the guitar to life. And that's all the keyboard's done. So, so far this is a really fantastic library and it's what it absolutely does what it says. It's great for these cinematic ambient type vibes, absolutely brilliant. We now hit the wonderful pads and strings of this great library. So we go for Ambient Gem Clouds. So the bond wheel here is adding the sh more shimmer. dreams. Some of these are, can be played like a, a polysynth um, with a melody rather than just chords. Like this one is a great example for Bloom. versatile sort of collection here 
Oh, this is just purely great for pads, this sound. It would not work trying to play a melody with it. Well, it would, but... The sort of like shut the long attack doesn't, or well, the sound doesn't lend itself to it, whereas pads, as the category we're in, sounds great. So, the key to that is experiment. Just because it says it's a pad doesn't mean it has to be a pad. Just because it says it's an ARP doesn't mean it has to be an ARP. So by doing that you get actually a lot more out of the library than just 120 patches. so you get to hear what it sounds like and I'll play with the mod wheel. Some kind of harmonium on that, I think. A granular, granular? No. Because it's like a chordal feel to it rather than a paddy. See if I can find out what it is. I think it's the dawning. Yes, it's that patch itself. Uh, Sorry, the uh, sample itself, Dawning, that's making it sound choral. Sorry, I always like to sort of deconstruct sounds to find out where certain things come from. It's it, That way you'll learn when you try and program your own. So we need to go back to the main screen there. Delayed attack sound where it goes dun at the beginning. Dun. And that's done by just adding a touch of mod wheel it just up just the gate.
Oh, I start, this is just me holding three notes. I'm playing with the mod wheel. Really nice. Not to nine inch nails here. Trent Reznor. Although she's called Trent Reson Resonator. So that's your pattern strings. Now what have we got textures and playable? We've got quite a few textures and playable. So we've got birds in space. Tweet tweet call the little mice. These textures work well with hot held key, so it gives me a chance to wet the whistle and grab some well, grab a cup of tea that's next to me. Your voice might last to the end of this then. You unfortunate people get to listen to my voice a bit longer. A lot of movement in these um, textures. Textures when I play from, I'm going to play them with chords and stuff. I'm just going to play sort of octave notes so, so you give an idea of how it sounds throughout the keyboard. This is where a sustain pedal comes in really handy. Morning TV. That's sort of like shepherd tone that you can hear in the background. That is controlled by doing the mod wheel. Should we say controlled with a mod wheel? Said the right words, but not necessarily in the right order. And the last one of this patch library, Witchy Woman. we have it. This is Majesty by Stingray Instruments and the one asking price is $30 and you can get this from Rocky Mountain Sounds and I would also think you can get it from the Stingray Instruments website. I will leave a link to both websites in the description below. If you enjoy this walkthrough give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ding that bell and comment below what are your thoughts of the sounds as feedback not just for how the video goes but also for the people who put these this um, sample patch library together uh, is always helpful feedback is great because it knows we're either we're doing it on the right track or we need to improve something or 
we've gone completely left field and nobody likes it. So leave a comment below, uh, keep the conversation going, and I'll catch you in the next one.